with the changes in the civil air band frequencies for the UK from 25 kilohertz to 8.33 kilohertz I've been asked on a few occasions what difference that actually makes to scanning if you're actually scanning at 25 kilohertz does it actually make any difference well yeah and actually it can be quite significant especially if you want to know who that frequency belongs to so at 25 kilohertz this is the sort of, this is the step size that this scanner is actually going up in each in increment now an expected signal width for 25 kilohertz signal is a maximum of 12.5 so if we actually set that to 12.5 this is the area the envelope that that 25 kilohertz step scanner is, is actually receiving so anything in this area it will pick up so it'll display the frequencies one two double two six seven five but if it is off to either side it will still show that as one double two six seven five but still receive that so if we go down to the 8.3 kilohertz spacing the maximum signal width you'll expect for an 833 kilohertz spacing again would be half so that'd be 4.1666 which is significantly smaller than a 25 kilohertz spacing now you say well what difference does that actually make of actually locking onto the frequency well if we go up to something like 133950 at the 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth as you can see here we're getting a signal just off to the side but it's within the envelope and if we check on Squawker, well, that frequency is 133950. It's showing that it's, there's nothing there. So you may, may search logs, search the internet and things like that for that frequency. And you'll come up with something like Brest or um, Paris or something like that, which is you, you wouldn't normally be able to receive in the UK. But as you saw before, we got a signal just here. So if I flick over to that, so this is an 833 channel frequency. So it's actually, in fact, we're lucky there. We've actually got signals straight on it at that. But if we go now down to Squawker, it's actually showing what the signal is. And that is the difference between scanning at 25 kilohertz or at 8.3. So at 25, you will actually receive strong signals which you are not centered on and that is why you may get me getting misinformation or not find the information for signals uh, it is because it is receiving it within the that sort of bandwidth area and because that is what you've set your scanner to so if you do have the option to scan at 833 i highly recommend scanning at 8.33 uh, because then you will actually lock onto the correct frequencies and be able to find the correct information hope that helps